counterattack, all the ins and outs of the most important tactic in Hattrick. Hey guys, it's Uncle Mish, and a lot of you have been asking me to explain more about the different tactics in Hattrick and when to use them. And in this series of videos, I'll be doing just that, starting from the counterattack. I did a lot of research, so hopefully even the most experienced managers in the game will find some useful things. So if you know everything, just check the timestamps in the description below and skip to the tips part. And now let's begin with the counterattack. So the counterattack is the best tactic to use when you are losing midfield but winning defense attack ratios. It could generate extra chances for you after your opponent is missing his normal chances. Once you get this tactic, you can change it during the game and it only works when you are losing midfield. For So if you are winning midfield before you are using this tactic, it will not give you anything, but you will suffer the negative effect of using this tactic, which means losing 7% of your midfield. The counterattack tactical level is decided by the defense and passing skill of your defensive players and the passing will count twice as much. There is also a special bonus for quick outfield players and I will talk about this in the tip section. Your tactical level needs to be high enough to get conversions and I will talk about this in a special slide about the conversion formula. Other than that, if you are using a technical defender, he could generate spontaneous counterattacks. So if you are already winning defense attack ratios, why not make use of this very useful thing? And about the counterattack tactic. So you could, it's pretty straightforward, go to your lineup page and then in the tactics section, scroll down and choose the third one, which is the counterattack. And voila, you are set to play counterattack in the match. The best formations for counterattack are the ones that will give you enough defense and attack ratings. The best formations are the ones with four or five defenders because you could generate enough counterattack tactic as well. If you are a competitive team, probably you have experience in standard formations as well, the 3-5-2 and 2-5-3, and you cannot afford to have experience in all the counterattack formations. You could use some of your standard formations, maybe the 4-4-2 or the 4-5-1 as counterattack, but have a few for only counterattack. My favorite ones are the 5-3-2 with a lot of defense and enough attack or the 4-3-3 with good defense but massive attack. But of those formations that I have circled, probably you should get a few of them for your counterattack matches. And then some examples for good counterattacks. You could see here that the blue team's always getting the midfield control, but they most of the time lacking attack power or don't have enough on defense. I would think that having closer midfield could be even better because you could generate normal chances as well, but not all the time it's optimal. So just think first of all about defense attack ratios and second of all getting closer in midfield, but don't win midfield because then the counterattack will not work in the game. The pros and cons of counterattack. First of all, playing counterattack you want to get some extra chances, which is great. Also, you can gain some team spirit. A lot of the times, playing counterattack goes hand in hand with playing pick, and we call it pick countering. So you will gain team spirit for your future uh, matches of the season. And also, it could be an element of surprise if your opponent is not thinking you're gonna counterattack and concentrating his efforts in the midfield, you could have a big advantage in the game. The cons of this tactic, well, you are giving away midfield control. You are losing 7% of midfield and most of the time using a formation that will give away midfield control. And midfield being the most important thing in hat-trick matches, it's very important. And you are hoping to get some conversions. If your defense attack ratios are not good enough or your uh, tactical level is not high enough, you will not get conversions. Maybe you will block his attack, but you will not get an, an attack of your own to score goals. And then maybe you should consider a different tactic. 
and it could end up really badly. If your defense is not good enough playing counter-attack, it could end with huge defeat and your confidence will suffer. Uh, so take all this in mind while thinking about playing counter-attacks. And tips for proper counter-attacking. And hopefully in this slide, even the best managers in Hattrick will find out something new. First of all, think about defense attack ratios. If you're giving away midfield, you should win defense attack ratios big time. 60% is the bare minimum to think about counter-attack. And I always try to get at least 70 or 80 defense uh, percent chance to block in the defense and 60 plus to score in the attack. So high enough tactical level. If it's not high enough, you will not get conversions and then maybe play pressing or something because you need to get those counter-attacks to score. Consider specialities. Consider having quick defenders just to block quick opportunities of your opponents and also consider having a tactical, defen tactical defender to generate spontaneous counter-attack. The other specialities are very important as well just to generate specialities and special events. Smart use of individual orders and that's one of the best tips I that could give you and in a moment I will show you this and uh, how it's done in the, in the lineup page but using your wing back as a defensive winger could be a huge boost for your defense ratings. Also a smart use of man marking. Uh, you could man mark from the inner midfielder position and not from a defensive position and you will I will show you the big difference. Also, don't man mark his inner midfielder. You are not playing for midfield control. So, as I said, uh, the, the example here. So, it, it's here. You could see I have set up a counter-attack lineup for a match using a 5-3-2 formations. My defense is pretty good. In the right side, it's 20. In the center, it's almost 20. And in the left side, it's almost 17. And my tactical level is 21, divine plus 1, which is good. Let's say I want to man-mark my opponent. If I will man-mark, it doesn't matter who I will man-mark, but let's say if I will man-mark with my center defender, I will lose some defensive skills. Uh, I'm losing uh, one level at the wings and two levels in the center. And let's say it's worth it because I will destroy his attack even more. But the biggest problem here is that I'm losing tactical level and I'm dropping from 10, 21 to 16, which means I might, might not get enough conversions. And that's a problem altogether playing counter-attack. So I could man mark with my inner midfielder. If I'll man mark with my inner midfielder, maybe uh, the man marking won't be as impactful and maybe uh, uh, his attack ratings will be still good, but I'm not losing my uh, defense ratings and also my tactical level is intact. So I will get a lot of conversions. That's one example. The second one is the smart individual orders. And see here, let's say I want to increase my defense even more and I don't care about midfield ratings at all. So my winger here, which contributes pretty well for all my uh, ratings and midfield ratings, if I'll use my bruised defense uh, wing back, as a defensive wingberg, see what's happening. I'm losing only a little bit of side attack and a little bit of center attack. I don't care about losing midfield because I'm playing counter attack and I'm gaining a lot of defense, both in the side and in the center. And yeah, that's a, an example here, but and it's not always as black and white, but let's say if I'm just using my normal winger, and I could use him as a defensive winger and I'm dropping some attack and I'm dropping some midfield, but I'm gaining some defense. Maybe the defense attack ratios will still be in my favor. So make sure to make proper use of individual orders. And we are back here. So yeah, pick. If you're playing counter-attack, always consider to pick again because you could win 
very important team spirit for your future matches. The tactical assistant. If you have enough place in your staff and you want to use your tactical assistant, it could give you a bit more the, uh, uh, power with the defense attack ratios. I really think that a well-balanced team doesn't need the tactical assistant because you could always get the same impact using the individual orders and it always uh, gives you some defense, gives some uh, attack um, in exchange, but it could be an option if you need it. The coach trick. The coach trick, it's something you could do every once in a while, maybe once in two seasons, but it's something to consider. The coach trick is an opportunity when you need to change your coach either way. Let's say he dropped his leadership from uh, passable to inadequate or from inadequate to weak and you need to change your coach. So for a specific game, do not change your, let's say, neutral coach to another very good solid solid coach or something like this. For a specific game, take a temporary coach who is defense minded and change for your regular coach, for your standard coach, only before the next training. You could buy a very cheap external coach, even with solid leadership, just to maintain a little bit uh, uh, team spirit along the way. And he could have a trainer skill of week for 10K. You don't care. You will change your coach before the next training. Uh, but then using a defense minded uh, coach, you will surprise your opponent even further with massive defense rating that he will just won't expect. And now the big tip for all the high level managers out there. There is a special counterattack tactic bonus for having quick players in the outfield. Wingers, inner midfielders or forwards, yes. If you are using quick wingers, inner midfielders or forwards in games that you are playing counter-attack, you will get a slight bonus for your tactical level. The first player will give you five more percent for your tactical level and you will get uh, a bit more and up until 14% while using eight players. But don't use eight quick players because this means that you are playing an Norwegian formation with only two defenders will, with no defense and no tactical level. But if you are um, even having one or two quick players, it could be a big difference and a big bonus for your tactical overall level. So hope it's something uh, new and you have a confirmation for this in the dev blog. So uh, it's it's something proper. And also use the counterattacks as an element of surprise. Sometimes you could surprise your opponent at playing at home because no one expecting you on your home grounds to play counterattack. Sometimes your opponent will uh, break his head thinking about how he could take midfield control from you while he's playing away. He will man mark your inner midfielder. He was con will concentrate everyone towards the middle just to take midfield control and maybe win against you. Then you're surprising him with a pick counter attack and you're giving away the midfield control but getting so much defense attack ratios in your favor so you will get an easy win and no one will uh, be able to prepare uh, and know exactly how you're gonna play in each games. And the tips to play versus counter-attack. First of all, focus on defense attack ratios. Uh, if you're gonna win midfield either way, try to generate as much attack as possible to score. You could also play pick because your opponent is choosing a formation that give away midfield control. So it doesn't matter if you'll have a midfield control of 91% or 85%, you will still get all of the chances in the game. So you could win some team spirit as well. Um, take in mind having enough specialities and a good set, set piece taker because 10% of the opportunities in a game and on average are set pieces uh, which is penalties or free kicks. If you could score those, it doesn't matter how massive your defense, uh, or the, the defense of your opponent is because you are scoring either other chances. Uh, scoring special events is very important as well. So uh, try to have a team well-balanced in the speciality department. 
If you could uh, have a tactical assistant, that's cool. You could uh, play with the defense attack ratios. As If you're a balanced team, I don't think you really need it. Um, and focus your attack smartly. If you could generate free, strong attacking sides, do it. But let's say you cannot and you need to concentrate your attack. It's better to have maybe the center attack with 40-45% than having all three attacks at only 20% chance to score. Because you could combine the concentrated attack with the tactic. Let's say attack on wings if you have 40-45% chance to score from the wings and no uh, center attack. Or if you could only attack from the center and concentrate your attack there using a tactic. It could be much more impactful. And if your uh, attack cannot score anything, you could maybe concentrate on defense, not to concede goals while your opponent is playing counter deck, and maybe add the play creative tactic that would be the creative bunker, and you could score and win the game uh, scoring some special events. Man marking, smart man marking on the uh, opposing side of counterattack is very important as well. Never man mark his inner midfielder. You are not playing for mid. You could man mark his forward and he will not be able to score anything because his attack will be uh, in uh, trouble. And maybe uh, the coach trick could work here as well with a offense minded coach, but I wouldn't really reconsider it. The important thing and the high level thing is notifying the quick tactical bonus well. He is using quick players as wingers, uh, forwards or inner midfielders generating some extra tactical level. You could notify this while using wingbacks, inner midfielders or just defenders. And you cannot reduce his initial counterattack level, but you could nullify the bonus that he is having from his just quick players. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, the counterattack formula. I found this in the unwritten manual on the global forum and nowadays you could have it in the lineups in the predicted rating. So I've checked it and it uh, works. So just know that the formula is correct and for, in, if so for some reason you really want to calculate this, but you could go to your lineups and check your uh, expected tactical level in the predicted ratings. And if you are using and adding a quick player, I, here I added a quick inner midfielder, yeah, you are getting the 5% bonus. And it shows from Magnificent, I popped to world um, class tactical level. Uh, the more complex formula is the conversion rate formula. It's on the unwritten manual in the global forum as well and this formula is talking about how high your counterattack should be to get enough conversion rate um, and it compares your tactical level to the sum of the ratings of your team and your opponent team while not multiplying midfield by three and I have an example here from my last counterattack match. My opponent's ratings were this, and the sum of this is uh, 82 point uh, is 92.75, and my sum of my ratings was uh, 97.75. Altogether is 190 and a half, and my tactical level was 22. So if I put everything in the formula, I get a conversion rate of 1.25 approximately, which is higher than 100%. So you would think maybe the first time my opponent will miss an opportunity, I will guarantee a counterattack, and then maybe with the diminishing returns, it will be lower. But nothing is certain in hat trick, and in this game, after my opponent missed his first normal chance, I didn't get a counterattack. I got my counterattacks on my second and third uh, misses of my opponent. But eventually, the most important thing is to know that you should have as high tactical level as compared to the sum ratings of your and your opponents. Basically, as you're playing in higher divisions and you will face um, higher rated opponents, you should try and strive to get a higher counterattack level. That's it. So, just to conclude, as I see it, counterattack is a must have tactic for any competitive team. Do you have any other ideas 
for the counterattack. Maybe some special tips for other managers. Maybe your uh, secret formation or your secret way of playing counterattack. Even more importantly, I would love to know what your most memorable counterattack matches are. Maybe you won a championship or promotion or surprised an evil rival. So just put the game's link as in the description and I would love to see them. Most importantly, hope you enjoyed this first guide about the counterattacks in the tactics guide. And just remember, Hattrick, it's more than a game, it's a community. And I'll definitely see you around.